confused on how to pick out good dog food when at the store? Watch this video to find out my professional opinion as well as expert tips on how to read dog food labels. Coming right up. For the best pet related information, subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit that bell to be notified every time I post a new video. Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Littlejohn, and as a veterinarian, I am frequently asked by pet parents how to pick out good dog food when at the store. I know this can be really overwhelming when there's so many different choices out there. How do you possibly know what food is best? By the end of this video, you'll have three secret tips for how to read dog food labels. I've shared this secret with many pet parents over the years as a general practitioner, and now you'll know them too. Over the last few years, there have been rumors that the best pet food must be grain-free or have chicken listed as the first ingredient, but I can tell you that isn't necessarily the case. Less than 10% of all food allergies in dogs is actually due to grains. Most commonly, the offender is protein like chicken or beef. Grain-free foods also have recently been linked to heart problems in dogs. Most pet parents want the best for their dog as we truly consider them family. We throw them birthday parties and we do everything we can to keep them happy and healthy. Some pet parents are even willing to go as far as cook their own dog's food. If you haven't seen part one on a guide to homemade dog and cat food, the link is in the description below. Otherwise, if you're like me and you simply don't have the time or the ability to make your own dog's food, then this is the video for you. The ingredient list is important to a certain extent. Comment below with list if you've always thought that looking at the ingredients was the best way to spot good food. That list is actually based on weight of the ingredients, with the heaviest ingredient always being listed first and the lightest ingredient always being listed last. A few years ago, food companies actually figured out that you were looking at this list to determine whether or not it was a good food, and ultimately you were upset that chicken was not listed as the first ingredient. So, in an effort to make you happy, they decided to make some changes on their end. Instead of weighing the chicken in its dehydrated state, which is necessary to make a dry kibble and obviously makes it lighter in weight, they decided to start weighing the chicken prior to the dehydration process. This actually makes the chicken weigh more, ultimately putting it first in the ingredient list spot, which is what you're looking for. Makes you think that it's a better quality food when it may not necessarily be. I'm passionate about pets and only want the best for your loved one. So a few years ago, I set out to learn more about pet nutrition. In short, the easiest way for you to determine good dog food by reading the label can be accomplished in three secret tips. Tip number one, look for the AFCO statement. AFCO stands for the Association of American Feed Control Officials, and they set forth nutrient requirements and ingredient standards for pet food. Their statement is essentially a nutritional claim that indicates that the food is complete and for a particular life stage. The AFCO statement is found in various locations on the bag, though most commonly you can find it near the ingredient list. Tip number two, look for the words tested. In my opinion, for the best food, the AFCO statement should mention the word tested or using animal feeding tests. This means that the recipe has gone through a food trial and there aren't any contaminants in it like salmonella. Tip number three, look for the life stage. The second thing to look for in the AFCO statement is the life stage. There are four life stages of dogs, puppy, adult, mature adult, and senior. If it says all life stages, that is actually code for puppy food as this is the most demanding life stage when it comes to nutritional requirements. If the statement says it's for maintenance period and doesn't list a life stage, that too is also code for puppy food. 
There is no food that will meet all of life's nutritional requirements when it comes from womb to tomb. In my opinion, it's best to feed a food that is specific to the life stage that your dog is currently in. Make sure you don't switch your dog's food too quickly as this can result in an upset stomach. Watch part three to learn how to properly transition your dog to his or her new food. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Comment below with what you found most helpful and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. If you want to join me on Facebook for more helpful tips and tricks, make sure to connect with me there. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.